golfers, Eric Silver, EJS Golf, EJSGolf.com. So, as many of you have known, I don't know if you can see my hand here, a huge scar, so I got a lot of work done on my thumb, um, some wires, um, they had to take a bone out, so did a fusion and then um, reattached, full ligament from my upper arm and had to reattach it. Um, part arthritis, I'm blessed with that. <laughs> um, and um, also uh, overuse, they're saying, all the golf, I guess, I've observed my life. So two years, I really, I haven't been able to play. I've, every time I've tried to play, I've tried to do it with my thumb off the club. And so once I would do that, I'd literally end up with eight fingers on there. Um, developed, uh, I, you know, I just couldn't hit, but I, I love playing every once in a while, so I try to get out even though I don't have much time. But um, I'm gonna go through this little growing experience. And um, I have experience of this in the past. So I, I was really fooled one time um, after being away from golf for a while because of a bad back that pretty much crippled me. And I had a, my fifth surgery was a three little fusion on my back that saved me. Um, but um, I hadn't, I wasn't allowed to, or I couldn't play golf for almost six years. So a year after that surgery, I remember looking at, out over to my wife one day, we were just on the couch and uh, said, do you want to go hit some golf balls? And I really don't know where it came from because it's interesting. I, well, I mean, I <laughs> could go back where it came from. I've probably been doing, I've been doing it since four and I've loved this more than anything. Um, but it wasn't like when I did the surgery, it was so I could get back playing. It, I, it was, it was not even a thought of mine. I was so bad shape. Okay. So about a year after I said that to her and then game on, I was like, wow, I can do this. And, but I was so shocked about, I had, um, I had this notion in my head that I was going to come back and be who I was before. And I wasn't, I wasn't even close. So it was really hard for me mentally, uh, to come back and hit the ball so bad for so long. Um, and, and I was really starting off, um, you know, I think the benefit of knowing what to do to fix, I think I have that advantage over a lot of people, but in how to practice, I understand how we learn. So I had that huge benefit, but I also had to grind. Okay. I also had to, you know, go through those periods. Like, I can't believe I'm this bad. Like how, how did I go from being so good to this bad? Um, I just didn't, I, I, I never thought I'd be like riding a bike, but I thought I'd go from shooting you know, if I could shoot in the 60s at times on good days, I didn't think that um, I wouldn't be able to get around nine holes in less than 50. I didn't think I had top three woods. Um, <laughs> you know, it was just, I didn't, I, yeah, I would top a driver. I, I just didn't think, I figured there'd be problems with right and left. So I, I didn't think it could go that bad. Um, it did, but I fixed it. I came back and then guess what? After playing for quite a while, this thumb happened. Popped real bad one day, uh, playing golf with my wife um, in Tucson. And then about two years later, surgery, um, two and a half years maybe. So um, I, I feel like I'm gonna start, um, show you what I'm gonna do, Lauren. So my fundamentals me, you know, are our body movement, right? How we pivot. So I'm gonna start working on my pivot to make sure that's good, efficient and powerful. And then I'm going to start number one on, on low point control. Okay. What, what does that mean? I know I'm going to take the seven iron and I'm going to try to make sure my low points probably four inches ahead of it. Um, so I'm just going to start with getting the club back about here. Okay. So that'd be what six o'clock, nine would be all the way back there, seven thirty. So about seven and maybe match my back a little bit and then just go down. And many of you have, I'm sure have seen me do this drill. Let's see how that sound, that's what I want to hear. That good compression. What did I do there? I didn't feel like I did hardly much of my hands. I just rotated, okay? I want to see that club exiting left. So, hey, um, if you guys want to follow along and get better, it's maybe a really good way to do it. Uh, you're going to see a plan that I follow through. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a plan that's going to work for me because it has to be adjusted, but I think there's learning that can be learned from about what my fundamentals are. Look for a video coming out on that where I talk about the four fundamentals of golf. Um, they're probably, depending on who, who you are, they're probably not what you think. Um, but check out those. Um, 
yeah, and you know, there's a lot you can learn about how I do this. And I, I've talked about this in other videos, okay? For me, right now, it, it's all process, okay? I, I, I can't go full yet with this. I have another month or so, which is maybe pretty good for me because I can just work on these kind of moves, making sure I'm getting contact, making sure I'm rotating through, getting nice and just this like from here, this nice, so I'm here. If I went like this, it'd be a huge inside out. But what, what happens if I go, that P6 in a pretty good position there, right? Boom, boom. Good rotation, right? So um, I probably have another uh, month and a half to go full, six months, they say. So another four months if I'm fully ready. But I've given the go to hit little shots like that. Um, so I'm gonna do it. And I'll show you the progress as we go along and you'll get to see it, what I do, what I focus on. And you're gonna see, I'm not gonna care about results at all, okay? I'm gonna care so much about how is my process, did I complete what I wanted to there, okay? And yes, I did that what you saw. So I'm gonna continue this, I'm gonna continue working on getting my pivot down so I feel nice and powerful. So I know that if I have this thing out here, I'm just kind of drawing a line. Now everybody can, tilt, you know, a certain amount, some more than others, right? I can't, I can only tilt a certain amount. But I tell you, I'm gonna tilt because I know from the charts and graphs that right here would be like a plus handicap, scratch, 10, 15, 20, 30, up, all based on what? Low point, everything right there based on low point. So, and you can look on low point and that same thing is factored in on here. Turn, the flatter you are, the higher you are up this graph when they plot it, okay? You plot a plus handicap here, which would be a nice, probably 38, 40, probably 40 degrees right here, okay? You get up to the bad, the worst golfers here, here, here. Have you ever seen the golfer that just goes, <laughs> yeah, you don't know any good golfer goes like that, do you? Now, now you go play this weekend and watch golfers. See how many go flat like this and see how good they are. Okay, see how good they are. What are they going to have to do? They're going to have to come down with their hands and watch the tilt. So you can see. So boom, get a little bit into here pressure. So I got this. I'm recentering and exploding. So tilt, low point. Two things that fit on your chart or graph to tell you how good a golfer you are. There isn't, um, you know, this isn't, this is um, not one where you find somebody on tour that is flat and their back's like this, that is, oh, they're a plus six like that. They're not, okay? So what does that mean, folks? Left shoulder is going where? It's going down and across. Now I put this here, because I can go like this. I put a laser a lot out of the back end of my club. If I can track it, boom, 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 here, it's going down, track it there. Track, track, now I'm gonna track this side. Boom, coming in, boom, 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 fall through, okay? So that's another way to track this, but I'm gonna show you this stuff along the way, how I do it. They won't be as long, this is kind of the intro, and, and maybe you can notice this, what I'm doing. Going to the grip. Just get some, just get some help. I, I look at this as a bit of an opportunity. Um, I had gotten, I think, um, with what happened to my thumb when I had to play with like it off of the, how did I even grip it before? I grip it, oh, on top like this. <laughs> yeah, and then this other thing, yeah, left like that. So, um, but also the only way for me to do it with my right hand then was to get it way underneath, okay? Which I think, you know, I don't think, I know, it would help, it would make me kind of fan this more to in here like this, which is just the way your right arm works. If, if I'm more on top, look how this clip comes more upright. I'll show you the extreme if I'm under here. If I go just completely side on, it's gonna be boom, right there. This right hand grip controls so much. So if you wanna change how your plane is, Look into this right hand. Okay, now it doesn't mean somebody way underneath can't go like this, but they're they're changing something really bad. Look at there's no pivot anymore. See the shoulders stop moving, they're just lifting with their arms. So if they want to pivot and turn, do you want to be back here? Can you tilt? Are you good enough? Or can you get down? I can't do that. I'm sure somebody can, but I can't. All right, 
So join me for the ride, learn how I do it, and it'll give you a chance to just kind of see how somebody goes about fixes their own golf swing with the knowledge I have of learning pivot and um, basically how I fix people now. So thanks for watching. Thanks for your interest. I uh, love all you guys. Um, leave a comment. Let me know if you have any questions along the way. Um, also, uh, look out wherever you are. I have a deal out there where I'm giving away. I just got another, like, what was it? 30 something shipped to me today of, um, tripods. I'm giving them away with a online lesson. So, uh, online swing analysis, sign up for a monthly program. If you want to get better, you can do it wherever you're at in the country. Okay. Right now, if it's cold, it's a great time to learn. Cause guess what you're going to do? You're going to be inside. Even if you don't have a setup like this, you can still work on these moves slowly, which is the best way to learn. Um, we know that for a fact too. Um, you can come out in the spring and just your friends will be like, what happened to you? And look at some of my reviews. You'll uh, see people, uh, that's exactly what they say happened. <laughs> when they went out, they're like, friends are like, wow, what did you do this winter? And they're like, you're forced to stay in what? Out of result and into your process. Um, I'll, I'll leave you with this quote and I feel terrible and I don't know. Um, I can't um, find a definitive answer on this um, about who said this. Um, um, if it's Gene Sarazen or Ben Hogan, I'm not sure. Um, but it's a great quote because he goes, uh, show me a golfer practicing for today and I will show you a golfer that never gets truly better. And think about that, why that's true, okay? If you're practicing for today, what are you doing? You're focused only on results, right? You're out there, you're the guy going like this, you're raking your ball in, hitting one before it even lands, you don't move your feet at all, you're mm, raking, got that same seven iron, finally you feel pretty good about it, okay? You hit a bunch and you go play the course, go play the next day, you're like, what happened? No idea, What I, I, I was doing good yesterday, I did great. <laughs> If you have any athleticism, you'll start to do okay. Hitting a seven iron enough. If you hit, sit there and hit a hundred and don't move and just start raking them in and just go, your body's gonna organize well enough. That's not golf, okay? You'll do nothing like that on the golf course. You won't stand in the same place, same time. You'll have to move, you'll have to step into it. You'll have to look at a target. It just won't happen, okay? So learning how I go through this process, driven approach is gonna teach those of you that don't do it a lot, okay? Thanks, appreciate you guys, take care.